I recently had a problem when I tried to launch Microsoft Outlook, and every time it kept getting stuck on this update screen on startup. The message you see here also comes up when I try to use other programs like Word and Excel, but I was actually able to fix it. And in this short video, I'll show you how to get all your Office 365 applications working like normal again. So after about a minute, an error message pops up saying the application couldn't start. Here, just click OK to close it. Now there's two ways to fix this update problem. The first method is to right click on the Windows Start button and then open the Task Manager. In the Process tab, find the Microsoft Office Click to Run service and select it. Then click End Task. Now go to the Services tab, scroll down and right click on Click to Run SVC. In the pop-up window, click on Start and then close the Task Manager. Now let's see if my Outlook will launch. Okay, so it looks like this didn't work and the same error message comes up like before. So close this window and let's try the second method. This time, right click on the Windows Start button and select Apps and Features. In this window, scroll down and find the program that's causing the error. For me, it's Microsoft Office Home and Business, but you probably have Office 365. Here, I'll click on the application and then choose Modify. I'm actually going to try to repair the programs, and a quick repair should be able to do the job. So make sure Quick Repair is selected and then click on Repair. Here, click on Repair again to confirm. Now just sit back and wait for the process to finish. I sped this up in my video, but my actual repair time was about 2 minutes total. Your time may vary, but you'll definitely know when it's done. So I'll close these windows and try launching Outlook again. Okay, this already looks better. And now my Outlook is working again. I also tried Word and Excel and they now launch with no problems. So try these two fixes and let me know in the comments if you got your Microsoft programs working again. If this video was helpful, please give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on all my weekly videos.